Um, I just got off work and we are headed out to dinner with Robert's parents and we got a phone call. Oh, actually, I should tell you guys, we have our license. What? Um. Oh, the time that they called us and asked us to take those two girls, we didn't even have our license yet. No. no. But we officially have it. They sent over a digital copy to our licensing person. So we have a license, so that's good. And we got a we got our license yesterday. Yep. And yesterday was my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. It was her birthday. We got a phone call today. We got a phone call for a three-year-old little girl. And we said, yes, yes, yes. But they found a family member that wants to take her in. So we won't be getting her. So we said yes, but fortunately she had a family member who wanted to take her. We were really excited about it. Mm -hmm. I called Kaylin, Kaylin was like, yeah, let's do it. And I said, okay. And I called her back and they were like, oh man. When there's a placement for a child, um, everyone, like DSS, all the, all the, um, Connie Maxwell, Miracle Hills, all that kind of stuff that gets notified and they're all calling everyone. Like there's just a bunch of calling going on at the same time. And DSS ended up finding a relative for her to stay with. That food was so good. I think that's the first time we've had good seafood in this area. A while ago, we said we were gonna do a Q&A. Here we go. Which kind of work do you do, Kaylin? I work at daycare. That's how she can take the kids with her to work. What state do you live in? We live in South Carolina. When you were in Florida, did you ever make it to Disney World like you were hoping? No. But we're going back for Thanksgiving, so we're either gonna go to Disney or we're gonna go to Universal, depending on the age of our kid that we have at the time. If money weren't an issue, how many kids would you have living in your home? All of them. All of them. As many children as we could without calling it an orphanage. What's y'all's favorite movies? Peter Pan. And I also love Practical Magic, which if you haven't seen that movie, I talk about it on my top five movies for fall um, on my channel, but you can see it up here. I really like Casper the movie. I love TV shows and one of my favorite TV shows right now is Once Upon a Time. I'm a oncer, so if you're a oncer, leave a comment below. Is that a real thing? A yeah. oncer? Yeah, they call that's, them oncers. That's a real thing. Yeah, oncers. Yeah, is that kind of like, uh, what's, what's those Twilight kids? Is that like know. a sparkle? Is that what they call them, really? I don't know, is that what they call them? Is that a sparkle? I don't know. How long has the foster care process taken? Like six or seven months. Soups, they're on super sale. So I told Kaylin, let's go look at the Halloween section to see what kind of costume we can find for her dress up party. And this is what she said. Um, it's not really a dress up party, so we're gonna dress up without dressing up. And I what's this for again? It's for our fall party at work. <laughs> so you're gonna dress up at your fall party that's not a dress up party? Mm -hmm. A group of us, three of us. I'm Mary Margaret, another girl is Emma, and another girl is Regina. What if I wanna be a female pharaoh? No. Mm. So we're gonna do this year. We need more lights. We need more lights. No, we have enough lights. We need more lights. <laughs> that costume is so cute. I want a little baby. Oh my gosh, look at all these little baby ones. Elephant. Look at the ears. That is so cute. If we had a little three-year-old girl, would she fit in that? No, this is infant. Oh, uh, here's 12 to 18 months. A little That's bumblebee. Cute. It's super soft too. Yeah. I'm not gonna put a scary mask on. Okay, so one thing that you guys might not know about me is I hate masks. Like, if we're doing Halloween and we're passing out candy and a kid comes up with a mask on, 
nope, I'm going inside and I'm closing my eyes and crying because I am terrified of masks. <laughs> He's going as homemaker on the home front's dogs. <laughs> no, they sound, like, they sound like this. <sighs> That's not really a, I guess it's kind of, it's, how is, that, is that a pug? It looks like a pug, doesn't it? Kind of. Oh no, I can't even look at you. My eyes are shut. Stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Oh, his eyeballs light up. What bug? This is a family friendly vlog. That's scary. You guys, tell me if you ever do this. We are dead broke. Um, it is Tuesday and we have to make it till Friday. We're here at Target. We're getting poorly noodles, more noodles. Pasta, that's already broken half for you. Isn't that nice of them? All of these are $1.24 a piece. Plus 5% off and then plus 5% off again because of our Target card. Sauce? Three sauces. Three sauces. Broccoli. So we're gonna have pasta, meatballs, we have meatballs at home, and sauce with broccoli for the next three days for dinner. And I just pulled garlic toast out of the freezer. So we just thought about breakfast. Um, we gotta get something for breakfast. So we gotta put back one day of pasta and gotta put back the toast. So we ended up getting maple brown sugar for breakfast and a half gallon of milk. Um, all this has to ring up to $15 or less. So let's see where we're at. Got dinner and breakfast for the next three days. To all the naysayers out there who are gonna be like, how you ain't got money? How you gonna raise a kid? You ain't got no money. You're never gonna be ready. Like, you're never gonna be financially ready to have a kid. Never. Though we don't have a lot of money left right now, there are a lot of things that we bought recently that we just would not have bought. But we have a really good support system around us. We have my parents, we have her parents, and then we have God, God provides, and we have never, ever, ever gone for anything, have we? Mm -mm. Even since we've been married, we've been broker than this many, it's many funny. times. I will let you in on a little secret. When was it, like maybe two years ago? I ended up getting our taxes back, and when we realized, we only made $17,000 between the two of us in that year. And I just, when I look back, I'm like, how? How did we like survive? How did we pay our bills? How did we eat on $17,000 in just that one year? And it's true, God provides. I just don't even worry about it anymore. We've never gone hungry. It just, it always works out. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a happy, friendly comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Adios. Pray that I